All right, guys, I've been out of town for a bit, but just came back to BattleBox on my porch. So let's open this thing up and see what we got. What's up, guys? Eric here with That Home in the Future, and I'm back with another BattleBox unboxing. If somehow you're unfamiliar with BattleBox at all, if you're watching unboxing videos and stuff like this, you probably already know what this is, but super cool sub, the OG in the space, four different flavors. There's a basic box, an advanced box, a pro box, and a pro plus box. We always unbox the big boy, the pro plus box on this channel. If you wanna get a subscription for yourself, you can follow the link on the screen or down in the description. Uh, but yeah, I've been out of pocket here for a little bit and came back to this. I know I've seen some spoilers out there because I'm so late to it. I'm still pretty excited because I like what I see. All right, long thin box. Let's see what we got going on in this thing. Interesting. Not a ton of items, but several items. All right, I'm going to pull this stuff out and we'll go through it. Here we go. All right, just a few items, but it looks like we got some really good stuff. With the mission brief 116. It's hard to believe it's already been 16 missions since 100. I remember doing that one. Uh, so like I mentioned, basic box over here in the left, advanced, pro and pro plus. All right, I shouldn't have spoiled it for myself. Here we go. Let's go through it. Uh, starting off in the basic from Rocket Gator, we have a 70 liter rain cover uh, for a backpack. Let's open this thing up. Uh, so we'll unzip it. Um, and you have you know, your typical rain cover here. Uh, maybe a, what feels like kind of maybe a thinner um, nylon or wrist stop kind of material here. Um, can fit up to a 70 liter pack, it sounds like. You can probably fit it over whatever else. Um, but yeah, has elastic and straps to kind of go around stuff there. Basically, just a thin layer of water protection that you can put on your bag uh, if you're out in the elements and don't know what you're getting yourself into. Um, so whether or not that is cool to you is going to depend on how often you're out in the rain uh, with a backpack. Probably nice to have. Probably something I'll tuck away in a drawer somewhere with my camping stuff and should I ever need it. If it's not something you're going to use all that often, it may not be something as exciting as I typically like to see in BattleBox. So, that's my grumpy comment about the only item in there that I'm kind of eh on this month. Uh, everything else I'm seeing, I'm pretty pumped about though. So from Uncharted Supply, which makes some really great stuff, ages and ages ago, I checked out one of their survival kits on our blog. If you didn't know, we actually have a blog that goes along with this channel. Uh, but we have a Slishman Pressure Wrap Tourniquet, um, which appears just to be a stretch tourniquet. At first, I thought this may have been one of the ones that has the rod that you twist on it to actually tighten things down, which typically do the best job. Uh, but you have just a really nicely made um, elastic tourniquet um, that you can wrap around multiple, multiple times and then cinch things down until you can stop some blood flow. Um, definitely, if you keep some of these things around, and you should, make sure you have one of these in your emergency medical kit. Um, but learn how to use these, learn the best way to do it, even practice, because um, this is one of those items to have in your kit that can actually save lives. It looks like they have a QR code down here where you can um, get some instructions on how to use this. But I like seeing stuff like this uh, that you want to add to your kits and stuff. Because if you if you subscribe to this stuff over time, you add more and more gear to your stats to make sure you're ready to go. So this is the type of thing I like to see. I'm going to throw it back in the bag and we'll keep going. But I like seeing items like this. And I really like Uncharted stuff overall. Really good gear. All right, moving right along. Something that was actually in BattleBox ages ago, um, but not in my era of being subscribed and everything, is the Pool Start Fire. And I've always been jealous of these. So I'm excited to get these. Do we get... It almost looks like we maybe get three of these in this box. That's cool. So these things burn like absolute crazy. You can see the instructions here on the side. I'm going to open the seal and we'll take one out. Obviously, we won't use one right now because I want to keep living in my house. Yeah, so we get three of these bricks right here, which are exactly uh, what they say. You un undo it, got instructions here, and you pull that rip cord, and you've got several minutes of pretty hardcore burning stuff. Wow, this thing says for 30 minutes. Lights, wet wood, windproof, rainproof. Um, so if you're going to a campsite, everything's damp, you're trying to get tender and everything going and nothing's sticking, these little bad boys um, are supposedly very cool. I've never had a chance to mess with one, but it's October here in Tennessee and it's fire pit season and I'm going to mess with one of these bad boys this weekend. So there's your basic box. You have backpack cover, you have a really nice, and honestly these can be kind of pricey, a really nice tourniquet there and then three blocks of the pool start fire. I like that quite a bit. All right, knives galore this month, it looks like. Uh, so first up from Double X Knives, we have the Bush Baby. D2 Steel, looks like a stone wash. And kind of a smaller fixed blade, which I actually really enjoy a small fixed blade. G10 handles, let's look at this. Um, really excited to see this. Again, this type of thing in my mind is like the perfect fire pit knife. Sit around there, you got some little paperwork and stuff in there. This is teeny tiny. Oh, very cool, nice sheath. Got a little space to thread a belt through, but look at this thing. Oh, this bad boy is awesome. So you've got 
There's no jimping or anything on the back, but you actually have a 90 degree scale there. So if you're striking um, a ferro rod, I can throw sparks really easily that way. It just kind of melts into your hand. Looks like it is very sharp out of the box. The G10 feels great. Full tang the whole way down. You got space to put a lanyard if you want. I just really dig the little look of this thing. I love how, I don't know, it feels like if you're going to get a stick and make a little spear, you know, or do some whittling, that sort of thing. The small size in it. Sometimes you get these big bushcraft style blades that, but these types of blades can be the ones that are actually a lot more fun to mess with um, when you're outside. And it's small enough, you got this cool little sheath. Throw that in your pocket. And rather than take your folder out there and get it all beat up, um, you can use one of these bad boys. The size of this thing is really fun. I really dig that. All right, moving right along. Really interested in this. This is the thing I had spoiled for me. This is the Spitfire um, it's a local Yokels original here. And so I believe this is a way to mess with logs, but it also has a bellows built into it. It looks like it telescopes and stuff. So we all know sitting around the campfire, you're probably getting a stick to try to poke a log with, probably trying to get two sticks to pick one up and move things around the fire, but this solves the problem of doing that, just giving you a tool that you can kind of mess with, like a big fire fork. All right, so check this thing out here. You got the big log moving fire fork here. We've got an interesting protective layer over both of these things. So you just screw this thing together. So you already have, pan across the camera, it is very long, probably about three feet long entirely. You already have a great, um, really sturdy tool to actually get in there, move your stuff around, pick up a log and move it if you need to but there's actually a small hole built in the bottom here and back along the opposite end, we have this spout right here, which may or may not show up well on the camera, but you actually have a place to blow in and use this as a bellows. So as you're getting your fire going, you can actually at about three feet away, blow into the end of this and get your fire really going well. Um, you know, I'm gonna take this, disassemble it so we can take a closer look at that. All right, so here we go. Like I mentioned, you got this place here that you can blow into. Uh, really cool branding there at the end. What a cool fire tool. The fact that this thing also breaks down and stows away in this bag, which you can carry out to a campsite, or for me, I'm gonna put it in my truck and have that for whenever I'm out camping. Um, super, super fun, perfectly timed for fall um, fire pit season. That's gonna be something I'm using all the time. Super excited about that thing. Very, very cool. All right, last but not least, we have one heck of a folder here. We have the Wesson, the Almond, and these things are super, super cool. Now, I feel like they make the rounds occasionally through subscription boxes. So if you're like me and you're checking out this sort of stuff all the time, uh, I feel like I've seen these in one of these boxes maybe a year, year and a half ago, but it's cool to see it again. Wesson is a really great brand. And this is a premium knife. As far as like knife of the month stuff goes uh, for Battle Box, this is definitely one of the nicer ones we've seen in a while. So we get some cool paperwork and stuff in there. Get a little sticker. Um, cool box here with some tinder inside of it pop this thing down but this is a really nice edc blade really slim profile and everything interesting blade shape too to so check this out all right so we got like a forest green really did we got a flipper on it really nice action but you get this this blade that has a really big belly unique profile but all around a really great really sharp knife it is a liner lock um, really great action on it and I think the steel on these is really great. Yeah, S35 VN steel on that. Handsome pocket clip there. Just an all around um, awesome EDC knife. And the thing I like about this, and you may have heard me say this about the Almond in the past, um, is the kind of blade where if you work in an office environment or just are, are around people in general, where you want to use your knife quite a bit, but you don't want to freak people out, you know, being the knife guy that whips out like a giant blade. Um, something about this blade shape, even though it is wicked sharp and everything, um, it is not a threatening looking knife at all. It's not very pokey or stabby or anything like that. Still super useful, very slicey, but just not a very threatening knife blade. Really love this thing. Love this color combo too. It's hard to beat. Um, just classic green and stone wash, but there you go. That's the knife of the month this month. And this is Battlebox Mission 116. We got the Wesson Almond Folder. Again, that's like more than a hundred dollar knife. Really, really nice. The Spitfire tool there, which is uh, one of the best Battlebox items I've seen and probably a year, really love seeing that. This awesome little bush baby fixed blade, super cool, very tiny little um, bush crafty knife. We got a pull start fire, we got backpack cover, we got a really nice tourniquet, which hopefully you don't need for messing with these knives. All around, a really awesome box this month. Again, if you wanna get a subscription for yourself, you can follow the link on the screen or down in the description and save yourself a little bit of money. But if you get Battle Box, you're gonna have a ton of fun with it and discover lots of new ways to mess around with the outdoors. All right, guys, that's it for this unboxing. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this. See you guys next time.